Hi, I'm Willem Booth. There is this amazing song uh, that was produced by David Bowie and Freddie Mercury, and it's called Under Pressure. So what's the relationship to roasting? Under Pressure really relates to most coffee roasting machines out there because most coffee roasting machines operate under a certain under pressure. So they are operating their functioning under a slight vacuum. And how do I look at this? Basically from the fundamental perspective is that when I'm roasting coffee, then the machine will continually evacuate, will remove more air than the machine can make up for. So um, the coffee, you can say, and the coffee roasting machine is always a little bit out of breath. So how does this tr translate to the roasting process? It's basically as a result of this dynamic, of this under pressure, the beans are extra susceptible to ways of heat transfer. And in coffee roasting, there are three different options for heat transfer. That's in the type of drum roasters that many of us are using. You know, first and for all, there is conductive heat. Conductive heat is really heat that um, is created by contact, either the beans being in touch with the drum or the beans touching each other. That contact heat is conductive heat. So that's the first option. The second option is convection heat. Convection heat is how you transfer heat with preheated air. And then last but not least, there's radiant heat. Radiant heat is basically transmitted and um, conveyed through the heat um, generated, um, radiated by the heavy materials of the roaster. And as you know, coffee roasting machines are very heavy. They're usually made of um, steel, iron, cast iron, heavy components, and they can create a lot of radiant heat, especially once the machine has been in operation for a while. So under pressure, coming back to this topic again, the under pressure really influences the aspect of convection heat, the heat transfers through preheated air. And that by itself is a key element, contributing element for coffee roasting. So when I'm roasting coffee, I can choose, as a roaster operator, I can choose with most machines out there whether or not I allow the machine to produce a little bit more of convection heat. And I can usually do this with the positioning of a damper that I can install in my exhaust stack or right after my roaster um, in the stack coming out of my roasting machine. Some machines, for example, Gießen, they allow to um, regulate the actual operating pressure of your machine, kind of a set point operated approach. Little disclaimer, I'm the ambassador, the brand ambassador for Gießen. I love this feature of uh, being able to roast with pressure profiling on Gießen machines, but there are other machines, the San Franciscan, the Probat, the Diedrich, to name a few, that have some capabilities in this realm as well. So under pressure ultimately allows you to create with one and the same coffee, using one and the same roasting degree, different, uniquely different flavor profiles. And that I consider as one of those intricate and fascinating elements about being, yeah, being a, a great coffee roaster. And you can learn more about this at coffeecourses.com, where we have Coffee Pro. Coffee Pro is our master course. And at coffeecourses.com, we have a lot of free video material as well. So come and check it out. Hopefully, we'll see you soon.